website, y'all. This this will be the third time we trying to do this live. The first two times we just tried to do it, we was kicked off because they got my phone tapped. So you know, these type of games that get played when the government is watching. All right, they try to interrupt, inter intervene any way they can. So this is the third time we're gonna try. If it cut us off again, y'all, I'm not for the force no energy. So that means we won't be giving this lecture probably like Saturday, because I'm not gonna force the energy. I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like to be disrupted when I'm focused. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm not gonna give no lecture with my energy not where I need it to be, you feel me? But as y'all can see, I see y'all follow back in for the third time. It's something going on with the phone where they steady like kicking me out, you know what I'm saying? So this gonna be once again, cause I see y'all coming in here. This gonna be my third time trying to get his, get his download. If they kick us off again, don't even come back to, to Saturday because I'm not going to give it again to Saturday. I'm not going to, you know, steady try to do it, do it, you know what I'm saying? And then allow it to lower my vibration because I got something that needs to be taught and they want to play with the feed, you know what I'm saying? Because my phone is tapped. I'm being watched by the government, so that's why I just got kicked off my own website twice. I just seen it happen for those of you who are in this class right now. Like I was saying, go on Twitter. I don't mean like repeating myself like that. Go on Twitter, let them know we lie to the forum. Blase, boo, blase, boo. Y'all know how it go. All right, um, but what I was talking about is that I won't be public, I won't be speaking public again to further notice because of these entities that's attacking me, you feel me? And I'm full, I'm in a full-fledged fight with the United States government as well as the British Royals and all these entities. So to try to teach and then still focus on that, I'm not able to do both, you know what I'm saying? Because when I get off, when I get through teaching, I got to go back in war mode and that's a little irritating. So I'm not going to be speaking publicly. You know what I'm saying? But far as when it comes to the individuals, the guys and goddesses that subscribe to the website, I love y'all dearly. So I'm going to definitely make sure we, we, we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on the website teaching. I'm just not going to be teaching publicly right now until further notice because of everything that's going on. You feel me? So that's why I sent the um, the Instagram post that I sent. I sent the tweet out I sent so that y'all could be aware. Because you know how they do it. You know, anytime they want to kill us, you know, they want to make it like it's somebody else. You get what I'm saying? So that everybody else can be calm. Like they're doing with Young Dolph right now. Like they did with Nipsey Hussle and everybody else. So, me, I'm just about making motherfuckers aware. You know what I'm saying? And I know as individuals in the university, it's ten toes gonna, gonna stand. But then it's, it's individuals. This is just the internet for them. So, when I say this is just the internet for you, like I say, if the shoe fit where it, I'm never directing that to you. If you know you ten toes in this war with me, you should never feel away. But if you ten toes in the war with me, then you should fully understand. You feel me? Like I've been told y'all, public enemy number one. Um... But I just want to let y'all know and connect with y'all though so y'all can understand what's going on. Um, yes, we're going to still go on this website and drop our downloads. We're just not going on YouTube with it. We're not doing nothing on Instagram, not even no reposting, teaching, none of that. You just we're going silent on the, on the public side with it, you feel me? Um, but we'll be back public with it, you know, when the ancestors permit it, when they say it's right, we're back gone. Right now, they want me to focus here on the website with it and continue to work on this album raise the frequency and continue to stay on point you know what i'm saying for this war that we in everything i ever told y'all we living in is in game so i have i'm responsible for helping unplug millions of individuals so you know they they want me out the way first and they and they thirst to try to conquer us at the last minute but it ain't gonna happen you know i'm divinely protected we divinely protected as a cosmic family but it is imperative that we all be aware of what's going on with that being said all right, welcome to class. Welcome to the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Today we talk about mudras and mantras and like the esoteric connection. Because I did pull, I did go on Google. I got the map pulled up and I pulled up mudras and I just wanted to see like what game they gave us about them. And they're not really giving us anything about them. So the ancestors told me to give y'all this download about the mudras, the hand signals, what they represent, what the phalanges on your hand represent, all of that so you can really understand why meditation is important. You get what I'm saying? It's a very important thing, which me, I'm going to be falling back publicly. So if I be falling back publicly, guess what? That gives me more time to meditate. That gives me more time to go deeper. You get what I'm saying? We all need to be going deeper right now. It's not just y'all. It's myself as well. I'm no bigger than y'all. Remember, I am you. You are me. There is no separation. That's what peace reflection means. You get me? I salute the divinity in all of y'all. All right? So we're going to get this down low. You know, we're going to get it rolling. If you smoke, roll up. If you drink, pull up. Like I said, they cut us off again, man. We're going to come back Saturday. We're going to not be going to force the energy. This is the third time we try to get this lecture. And sometimes the least does this. Like I say, even though we have the website, remember, we're going through Wix and these other mediums. So we know who you're in there. So, you know.
you know, let's be, gotta be mindful of that. But anywhere it go, man, we gonna get the information. You know what I'm saying? And if we ever miss a download, miss a class, don't don't feel bad, don't get upset because this website is filled with lectures. Go back, we learn some more. You know what I'm saying? Go back and rewatch another lesson that we already went over. You can never hear it enough. You get what I'm saying? Everything I'm telling you is a divine thing. I'm, I'm channeling this information for y'all. I'm just a medium when I get right here. You feel me? Like everything I'm doing in life and all that, I don't even that don't even matter no more when I'm locked in. You know what I'm saying? I take it extremely serious. Even though we laugh and joke, I take it serious. A lot of y'all might not know that because y'all on the other end. But if you was around me, you would see that. Like, oh, okay. So, um, like I said, we talk about mantras and mantras. Get your pens, get your pads out because it's a lot of lessons that have came out. You might miss, you might not want to go back to this one. But this is a lesson that you want to definitely get your pen and your pad out for or definitely come back over and over again. Trust me on that, all right? So before we do anything, we're going to set the vibratory frequency. You know what we're doing? We're hitting it four times, three three different times, though, right? Sets of Three sets of four, right? The first set is for what? North, east, south, west. That connects us to the physical realm. The second set of four is for what? The four phases of matter, right? Solids, liquids, gases, plasma, energy. The third set of fours is for the elements: fire, water, air, earth. We always want to, you always want to connect with those elements and connect it back to the spiritual realm, because this is, I mean, the physical realm, because this is the realm that you're on right now. You feel me? This is the realm that you're on right now, so you gotta understand the purpose of this. All of y'all should have a sandbow. Everybody should be dealing with this. Every, everybody should be dealing with, um, you know, um, your candles. Your crystals, your your sound bowls, meditation, understanding what these fingers on your hands mean, all of that. You get what I'm saying? All of that because it it's all, it, it all matters and it's very important in this war that we are undergoing right now. All right. So prepare yourselves. Get your pens. Get your pads out. You hear me? It's one of them. Because they'll never teach you this in school. And you ain't going to find it on Google. All right? They're going to have you thinking them little mudras don't mean nothing. They might give you a little something. Willpower. They ain't finna go deep and let you know what the connection is, what the connection is about. But we're going to do it today in class. All right? So let's set this vibratory frequency.
Okay. So before we go into the download, I need y'all to close y'all eyes. We're doing a slight meditation. We will be doing it the length of the song, channeling our ancestral energy, which you should be used to by now, because we do this before every live lecture. We incorporate it all 2022. Their year of 2022, because we know that time is not real. It's a motherfucking illusion. All right? So, the mudra that we'll be using today, all right, we're going to be, all right, actually, no, we're not going to do solar plexus. We're going to do, we, we, we need to, we need to, we need to detach from the from the physical realm, from the matrix today to see this download. So, like I showed y'all, we're going, we going, we going crown chakra mudra, okay? Have all your hands together like this. Close them like that. Just like you would if you was doing that. You just put the pinky finger up. Everything else stay down. Pinky fingers up together. When you inhale, hold it for three seconds. You let it out, don't just let it out slowly. It's breath control. All right, this is how you start to, it's about cleansing your chakras. So, understanding the mood just helps you to cleanse your chakras out. All right, that's the first step before you can even start channeling certain, like channeling the spiritual realm or channeling your ancestors, or trying to do magic, any of that. You gotta have, you gotta cleanse certain chakras out. All right.
All right, all right, all right. How y'all feeling? Reflectiations. Class has started. All right, so let's talk. Girl, let's get right into it. So, <clears throat> so what are mudras? Okay. And what are mantras? Mudras. Are hand gestures, hand gestures, right? But they're more than just hand gestures. They're hand gestures that you use during meditation. Now, understand that Satan and his army, Zeus and his army, they took everything and flipped it in reverse, all right? So they stole our ancient art of meditation from us and in its actual metaphysical reason is behind why we even meditate and they took it and called it yoga so when they turned it to yoga you know being put under heavy spell work from our oppressors like magic we took a, a complete disinterest from that connection over not not just to from the physical realm to the spiritual realm while we walk in these avatars but this connection with the elements all right So even now when we get to a place where we're rising, the people are trying to go to Google and look up, you know, mudras and mantras, they'll tell you a little bit about it, but they still not, they're not going to tell you the true esoteric reason behind mudras. All right. Why are the hands always involved? You see, because meditation is, a, is, is something that we was doing anciently. They stole it from us and they renamed it yoga and then they taught us to pray. So prayer is a watered down form of meditation which allows you not to use any of your energy points. But to understand this energy, you got, remember I told you I have 72 titans within you. You have DEA, deoxyethyric acid. You have um, chromosomes. These are many universes within you. You have a solar plexus, which is a soul, which connects you to the solar system. All right, and you, <coughs> you have, <coughs> you have, hold on one second. You are able to affect not only the physical realm through meditation, but also the cosmic realms through meditation. Okay? So this is the reason why they taught us to pray. In prayer, you're doing what? It's just like meditating. Instead of sitting on your perineum or your root chakra, right? You see the posture that our one of our ancestors right here, one of the he's sitting in. He's in a meditative posture, right? But in prayer, you don't sit on your perineum or your root chakra or your asshole, right? You, you come and sit on your knees, which is you got eyes on your knees. If you ever seen my old lecture I did on the nine different eyes, one, two, third eyes, three, four, five, one in each hand, knees make six, seven, the bottom of your feet is eight and nine, okay? I gave this lecture almost two years ago on YouTube. So they make you sit on the knees that's on your eyes, you get on your knees and then your hands, they make you bring them all together like this. So they close off all your energetic points like this. Because these are to be open. This is a meditative state right here too. To have your palms just wide open. This is a, a neutral meditative posture for beginners. To sit there with your hands open like this. Because you're, you're, each finger is connected to, to a part of nature. These are called phalanges scientifically. All right, But they call them phalanges because they connect to different parts of nature. Your fingers, okay? Even your hands, right? You got the M in your hand because we are master masons, but this is also part of our galactic codes. You got the spiral in your head, which is a part of the galactic formations that keep you etched to your creations that you created. Your heart is shaped just like the roots of trees, right? If you look at your heart and the veins, they look just like tree roots. This is all by design, not by accident. So let's talk about these phalanges. What do they represent? Okay. Index finger. Guess what this is? Water. And, you, and they go in the order that we created the planet in. So your index finger represents water. This connects you to water. Okay. This finger gives you authority over the water. All water. 
and all of the, the aquatic beings that exist in the waters and all of the spirits that exist in the water. Your second one. And it goes in the order of creation. Fire. Your middle finger gives you authority over all of the fire realms as well as the beings that guard the fire realms and all fire. I told you, when you look at an ember, most people only see the fire. But if you look closely at the ember, you can see that it's beings that live within the ember of the flame. All right, so your middle finger does that. Your ring finger, this connects you to and gives you authority over all of the earth or planet Ka, the soil, the forest spirits, all right, the jungle spirits, all right, and all of your elemental beings because they all exist in the forest, your fairies, your gnomes, your trolls, all right, these are all part of your elemental beings. This is what the ring finger is for. And last but not least, your pinky finger gives you domain over the air, okay? And all the beings that exist in the air and all the spiritual forces that exist within the air, all right? And then the thumb, this is why it sits off from these four. This is for the plasma realms, okay? So when you look at five, it connects you right back to that McCurber, that five-point star, all right? Well, that's a six, right? Because it's up, down, as above, so below. But in magic, I meant to say, correct me, sorry, I apologize for that. In magic, you'll notice there's always a five-point star being used. And, all, and I told you, each point of the star represents nature and the elements. This is how magic is used. This is why when magic is used, they're going to always use candles. Because the candle has all four elements in it. It has the fire, the water, the air, and the soil, the earth. You, bring, you provide the air when you blow the candle out, or you provide the air when you speak into the candle. Okay? So this is the true reason why you have five fingers. They'll never tell you this in school. That's why I said pull your notepads out for it to make sense to you. You got to understand what these fingers are for. They're not just there on your body. All right. If you go back and you pay attention to any time a person is, is using forms of magic, they always use the phalanges. Right. The fingers. But each finger plays a specific role in nature. And the thumb is plasma energy. Okay, why is that important? Because once you understand that, then you'll understand where mudras come from. That's why your mudras come from. You see? This is why fingers get involved. And then they'll throw you off on the internet because they got so many man-made mudras, sh shit like that, throw you off, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. They'll tell you that's a mudra, though. You have seven basic mudras. And then after those seven, you can create your own. But if you create them, you must apply them to remember what each finger represents. Okay? So, now that we understand the phalanges, they how they connect to the elements, that's why you got five fingers. And it's the same way with your toes. Five toes. And people that get foot massages, they'll even tell you about the different energetic points that's in your feet. Okay? This is our energy points. Right? Now, understanding that concept, you're like, okay, I get why we even do this and do for mudras when we meditate. Because you're connecting the elements. You're connecting to certain elements. Okay? But it gets deeper than that. It's way deeper than that. That's mudras. Okay? We'll come back to mudras. Let's dive to mantras because mantras is real basic. Mantras is the affirmations you affirm while in meditation. And you could make those up too. You could just tell yourself, I am that I am. While in a meditative state, keep telling yourself, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. That's a basic one to start with. From there, you can make your own up. But a basic one to start with is I am that I am. That's a cosmic truth. And you're affirming that. So while in a meditative state, you're affirming that over your entire being. Right? Remember, you're, we're, we are ancient beings. We are gods. So we are what makes us gods? Because we have spirit and soul. We are immortal. We will never die. We are forever. Okay, we are God. So, uh, saying I am that I am is your true name. Even before you, because you come from source. I am that I am. All right, and what is I? I represents the soul. Am is everything. All right, am is everything. All right, am is everything. So, am is nature. Am is the physical realms. Am is the spiritual realms and the quantum realms, the astral realms, the etheric realms. 
M is the multiverse. All right. M comes from A standing for Ananuki, M standing for multiverse. All right, because we are multiversal beings and we are multidimensional beings. So I am, I represents the soul. A represents Ananuki, M represents multidimensional slash multiverse. So this is what I am even means. They don't never tell you that. You see, I am. That's why it's I am that I am. Even in the Jesus story, they ask his name. Say he said, I am that I am, right? In the Jesus story in the Bible, when you go read the gospel. Okay, so it's imperative to know what the I, the A, and the M means um, from a metaphysical point. When you like, I am that I am. Okay, because that's your name. I am that I am. Because that connects you to everything. That's why I said pull your pull your pads out for this lesson. So that's a basic mantra to start with. And from there, once you understand the concept of a mantra, it's just an affirmation. Whatever you say in that mantra, you're going to you're affirming it. Okay. So let's just say you want to manifest something. You would apply that to your meditation as you get more advanced. You can say while you're in your meditative state with your posture based upon what you're trying to do, then you can apply whatever mantra you want to because you understand the concept of the mantra. But the basic one to start off with is I am that I am because that is your source name. That is your spiritual name. Okay? Like I, my, 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 my name is Divine Insight. That's my galactic name. That's my reason for being. But before divine insight, if we going back to source when I was originally created, all right, it would be I am that I am. And not just me, that's all of us and Anuki gods, all of us with spirit and soul, all of us cosmic beings of luminous light. That's what we are, all right? And we also have a bunch of galactic tribes that we come from and descend from, but, 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 in the, but be, that's after. We all started from source, which is headquarters. This, all souls are created to this day, headquarters. What's headquarters? Headquarters series X. Okay? That's headquarters. That's where we all come from. New souls as well. Alright? Even the fallen angels, the fallen gods, everything started on series X. Okay, so before we keep going, remember, I am that I am. What's the I? I means the soul. Okay? A represents Ananuki. M stands for multidimensional slash multiverse. Okay? I am that I am. When you say I, that means the soul, my soul, Anunaka, you right, you, you, you. It's no more power. It's nothing more powerful than the Anunnaki, than the, than the Nunaka. All right, that's us. Okay, and the multiverse is something that we created, and we are also multi-dimensional beings because we are forever. We will never die. We exist everywhere. This is the reason you go to sleep every night. Okay, so that's a mantra. Now let's get back to the mudras. Okay, now now that we know, once again, let's go back over the phalanges and what they represent. Water. Which is the first element we created. The second element we ever created, fire. The third element we created, soil. But the fourth, air. Before we created the planets, we had water first. This is why water is, per, is the whole cosmos is warm water. Your avatar is made out of number water. All your organs float in water. They say your avatar is majority water, right? Everything is water. It's the most powerful of the elements, all right? Because it was first. After the water, we created the fire. Out of the fire, we used the fire to shape what we now know as soil today on this planet. All right? So that's earth. And the last is the air. All right? We used the air to push everything together. All right? But all four elements combined, very, very strong. And the fifth one is plasma energy. Okay? So water, fire, earth, air. Plasma energy. Okay, remember that. All right, because when you're doing your mudras, that's you. You basing your mudras off what elements you're trying to connect with. But it gets deeper than that. It connects to your chakras. Okay, so this is why each chakra has its own personal basic mudra. All right. So let's talk about your chakras. You have seven. Okay, but that's just on the physical level. On a spiritual level, it's over 144 and going and going and keep going up. But we just talking right here on this realm, on planet Kai, and on this realm of Atlantis, right? You have seven. Okay? This is why they made seven days of the week. All right? Now, you have seven. Let's talk about it. You got the root chakra. What does the root chakra deal with? It deals with fear and it deals with survival. But that's your lower self, which is still a part of you. The root chakra is your lower self. Or the nether realms or the satanic realms. It represents the lowest version of 
energy because it's duality in all things. You have to understand this on a metaphysical level. All right. Now your crown chakra, which is your high, is in the physical state that connects you to the spiritual realms, and it deals to 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 to, to cleanse out that chakra. You have to detach from the physical realm. Okay. So them those are your two. Root. And what's the opposite of that? Spiritual realm. You see, highest vibration, lowest vibration. Now that them two out the way, you got five left. This is where your mood just come in at. What's the next one? Sacral chakra. What's the next one after that? Solar plexus chakra. What's the next one after that? Heart chakra. What's the next one after that? Throat chakra. And what's the next one after that? Third eye or brow chakra. There go your five. You with me? There go your five. Root. And crown represents higher self, lower self, duality, as above, so below. You get what I'm saying? Root chakra, nether realm, satanic realms. See, you and you and your lowest state. That's that part of you exists. Because there's a possibility for every possibility. Okay? Crown chakra connects you back to spiritual realms. Alright? So now I want I want you to notice something. The root chakra, when somebody's stuck in their root chakra, they're going to have a red glow to their aura. Okay? When somebody's in their sacral chakra, they're going to have an orange glow to them. This is where your colors of the rainbow come from. Solar plexus chakra, they'll have a golden glow to them, like a yellowish golden glow. Heart chakra, a greenish glow to their aura field. Throat chakra, a sky blue, sky bluish glow to their aura. Third eye chakra, a royal blue glow to that aura. Crown chakra, a violet glow to that aura. All right? But let's get deeper because it connects to the elements. Let's move them two out the way. Root and crown. You stuck with five. You got five phalanges. That's why the moves just connect. Each chakra connects to an element. Your sacral chakra connects you and it gives you domain over fire. This is why it's orange, just like the ember of the flame on fire. See it? It's orange right there. The bottom is blue. The blue flame is the warmest part of the flame, though. The orange part is the ember. But this is why the sacral chakra is orange. It has an orange glow to it. If you look it up, they're going to show an orange color by your sacral chakra, right? This is because it connects to fire. Your sacral chakra is linked to fire. Okay, And if you was to tap into that chakra Through that chakra In meditation And focusing on that chakra You would be able to control the fire Tighten your relationship with fire Okay, This is how powerful we are They'll never tell you this in school Or on Google Now what's the next chakra up? Solar plexus chakra It has a golden glow Right It deals with willpower what does your, your what does your solar plexus chakra? What what element does it has domain over? Your soul, literally. But let's go deeper. Plasma energy. Okay, plasma energy. All right. Now, let's go up to the next chakra. The next chakra is what your heart chakra. What does it deal with? Divine cosmic love. What does it give you domain over? If you want to work with the spirits of the soil of planet Kai and feel her and cause earthquakes, for example, say you want to cause earthquakes, right? You would have to cleanse out your heart chakra and tap into that because that connects you directly to the soil and nature. This is why it's green. It deals directly with nature. All right. It gives you dominion over that. This is why they, for each chakra has its own mudras too. We're going to talk about that. Now let's go up to the next one after the hardest one. The throat chakra. What color is your glow when it's the throat chakra energy? Sky bluish. Guess what element that deals with? Water. Well, actually, I said that wrong. That's your brow chakra deal with the water. Your throat chakra is sky blue because it deals with air. Which is when you speak, what are you speaking? Air. Communication. Right? How do you unlock that? By speaking truth, being honest with yourself as well as others. Throat chakra. 
but it gives you dominion over the air. Throat chakra. Okay? Because when you're speaking, that's that's an air. You're dealing with air. Okay? The element. The next one is your, your, your brow chakra, your third eye. That one gives you dominion over the water. It deals with intuition. And it deals with creativity. As well as emotion. Empathy. Okay? That's what each chakra is aligned with. Okay? So, the each chakra directly connects you to these elements. You must know this. This is where your true abilities lie. This is why meditation is key and going within. Now, that's just from a magical point of view. That's just to deal with yourself. You want to cleanse each chakra out, though. The root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the, the, the throat chakra, the, the, the brow, the third eye chakra, as well as the, the, the crown chakra. You have to cleanse each one out for you to even use it, right? So this is why when you meditate, you want to take yourself through a seven-week program. Seven-week program. First two weeks to be dealing with your higher self and your lower self. Donate your first week to your root chakra. Every day, you just in the root chakra mood for a week. You know, time not real before a week. Their week. Their man-made week. Second week, you want to work on your higher self, your crown chakra. Cleansing that out. Right? Accepting... That everything around you that you love, you're going to one day have to detach from. It's just all part of the illusion of experiencing this realm. But you have life. Remember, I am that I am. You're multiversal. You're, you, you, could, you are the multiverse. You are a multidimensional being. I am that I am. So you have lifetimes. You have, you have a life here, but you have lives on every planet. You have lives and bodies, avatars on every dimension, every universe. Every galaxy, you exist. Okay? So you'll spend the first two weeks doing that. Third week, now you start cleansing out your sacral chakra. Fourth week, start cleansing out your, your solar plexus chakra. Fifth week, start cleansing out your heart chakra and that donate the whole week to that. Six week, donate that whole week to your to your um to your throat chakra. Seven week, donate that to your third eye chakra. Now, how do you do that? That's where your mudras come in at, right? Okay, so you have this is the basic one, but people will do this. Now, when you're working on your root chakra, you sit like a ruler sitting. You hold you just like that, but you point them down. They still together. And what's this, y'all? Water, plasma energy. So you're connecting the water, you're tapping into the water and the plasma energy to cleanse out that root chakra. You're using water and plasma energy to cleanse out that root chakra because that's what it requires. You see what I'm saying? These are This connects you to the elements. Now, you go to your sacral chakra. You putting your whole... So you putting water, fire, earth, air, plasma energy. You putting all of them together, and you touching the plasma energy. And you holding it close to you. That cleanses out your sacral chakra. Get what I'm saying? Solar plexus. You taking the same four, but you pointing. You locking. That solar plexus, and you hold it right by your soul. Hands together. Notice, but are you pointing? Your thumbs not up. They like this. Why? That's the plasma energy. You use the plasma energy to channel all four: water, fire, earth, air, to cleanse out your solar plexus. You get what I'm saying? You want to do this? You gotta cleanse them out. And you would spend that whole week every time you go into meditative state. If it's sacral chakra, if it's root chakra week, every meditation needs to be like that. If it's cleansing 
the 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 sacral chakra that week every meditation needs to be like this and when you're med in a meditative state keep telling yourself i am that i am understanding what i am even means and also understanding what each finger means and its connections you're connected to everything around you you are everything and everything is you remember i am everything and everything is me see what i'm saying if it's solar plexus weak you're strengthening your willpower you got to cleanse out your soul for that though like this all week in every meditation if it's heart chakra weak you back like this but instead of pointing them down you point them up you point them up why not down down because the root chakra is what the lowest chakra so you down there cleansing it. your heart chakra is the balance that's those point up Right? Cleansing out that chakra connects you to the divine cosmic love, giving you the empathy to relate and have dominion over everything in the physical realm that presides within the earth, within the soil, because the soil, the planet is alive. Right? The planet is alive. Now, when you throw chakra, you bringing your fingers together and you're touching your thumbs. You're sitting there. Just like this. Relax, shoulders, elbows back, relax. Thumbs touching. That's your throat shot. Alright? Remember, notice how your thumbs need to be touching a lot because the plasma energy. Remember, what chakra represents plasma energy? The solar plexus. That plasma energy is a version of fire. This is why it's right above the sacral chakra. Because after fire, the next highest element of fire is plasma energy. Plasma energy and fire is the same thing. Plasma is a higher version of fire. That's where your lightning bolts come from. That's plasma energy. You got that running all through you. So when you clear out that throat chakra, connecting all fingers, boom. Now, when you cleansing out the third eye, you want to connect. Take all your knuckles like that. But you take your middle finger, you stick it up. You let them touch. What's the middle finger though? Remember, water, fire, okay? So you tap it into the fire, you connecting the knuckles, you touching the thumbs, plasma energy, using plasma energy, and a, and, and a lower version of plasma energy, which is fire. This is how you cleanse out your third eye shot. All right? Because that fire element burns away all the electrical light cold lockdown. Why is everybody third eye closed? They pineal gland, most people. Because they've been using light cold lockdown and fluoride and shit to gel it. So you need to burn it away. The only thing that's going to burn that light cold lockdown away is another form, another form of light, but it has to be a higher form. That's where your fire and your plasma energy come in at. That's why to cleanse your brow chakra, you got to... That's your meditation. You like this. All, all thumbs touching. All knuckles touching. Middle fingers up. Thumbs touching. And when you want to cleanse out that spiritual chakra, that whole week... I showed y'all, uh, pinkies up. What's this pinky? Air. Why would you need air to cleanse out your, 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 your crown chakra? Because the air element is a faster vibration. That's, what's, that's where your quantum realms and your astral realms is and your spiritual realm, you're ascending up. It's going to take air to do that. You need air to do that. Okay? So that's why you pinkies up. Now, that's just the cleansing part. You want to start with that. That's a seven-week program. After you go through that seven-week program, the next step is now that you've cleansed out these chakras, now you got to use them. Okay, so we see all type of fuck shit going on on the planet, right? Okay, you know what? I want to make an earthquake. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a meditative state, set my intent, set my candles, boom. I'm like this. Water and plasma energy. And I'm, and I, and I'm in my meditative state, and now I'm talking. Talking to the I'm talking to the spirit of the planet, of the land. 
chakras. This is what connects. This mudra connects you directly to that. Because it's for the heart chakra. And what's the heart chakra? Divine cosmic love. And it connects you to the elements of the earth. So it's in this meditative state where you would connect with the earth to get whatever you need done. You don't come to the earth element and say, hey, earth, I need you to do this. You ask. I'm asking for permission to work with you with your energy. Just like when you connect with the old reaches or you connect with any cosmic force that you ask for permission. Just like you would me or I would you. I wouldn't just walk up and say, hey, motherfucker, do this. I would ask you, hey, can you... Same thing when you're working. This is what we got to get back to because they're attacking us. This is why that meditation is important. All right? Now, if you're trying to do, if you're trying to connect on a higher spiritual level, do, doing something dealing with you calling in your ancestors or you trying to you trying to ascend deeper into your meditations where you talking with these different council of light members which exist right inside your goddamn pineal gland and your thalamus gland and they showed you this in the movie Eon Flux she took the pill whoop, and her ass rose within her higher self within herself and there's a council of motherfuckers right there waiting to talk to her that's a real thing but that's gonna require this now let's just say you like you know what I want to cause a tsunami. I want to cause a hurricane. Because I see what they're doing to our people and our planet. We fighting back using the nature. Guess what you would have to do? What chakra would you have to tap into to do anything dealing with water? Third eye. If you want to cause tornadoes or you want to use those elements, you got to throw chakra. Anything dealing with the earth spirits, the, 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 you did, you, you, your heart chakra. You want to connect with the plasma energy? You're going to have to go solar plexus chakra. You want to use the fire? You're going to have to go sacral chakra. All right? In your meditations. But when you meditate in, remember, you got to have a deep understanding of what each finger represents. Because then that's when you get deep. You feel me? That's when you be like, you know what? I'm going all fire. You feel me? I'm going all fire. You feel me? All right, you can meditate... Just like this. You can meditate just like this. Because you understanding what these phalanges represent. That's a more advanced level. They ain't going to show you that on no graph on no nowhere. You go like this. You can touch them. You get more advanced. Because once you understand the basics of what these fingers really do. What they're for. This why when somebody talk with their hands, it seems that like it's a lot of power. A person to talk with their hands, they grab a lot of people, if you'll notice it. Because of what the fingers represent. It's the purpose of meditation. And then when you meditate, you want to do three a day. Alright? If you slack off, it happens to the best of us. We get it. But I'm still going to teach you the right way. You should be doing it three times a day. Your first time should be in front of your ancestor altar. You need to create your ancestor altar. All right? Create your, create your ancestor altar. You do your first one, you just communicate with them. Paying homage to them. Your second one, you should be outside in nature. Unless they have turned on their weather control. Because we still at war here. Right? Everything ain't came down. And unless they turn on their weather making with your technology, you need to be doing that second one. In nature. That third one you could do back in the house. But each one should be for something different. So, okay, the first one you might just be sitting playing. You coming with all, with all everything. It's like a neutral one. And you talking to your ancestors. That second one in nature, you might say, man, you know what? I'm out here in the soil. I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the earth. So let me heart chakra. Let me connect to the spirit of the planet. Let me just talk to her. Because you don't have to always go to her and say, hey, I want to start an earthquake. Sometimes you just want to go and have a conversation. Sometimes you're going for protection. Sometimes you're going to manifest things that you need. But you base that on what you're trying to do. And you base that on elements. All, sac all chakras are connected to the elements. That's what makes meditation so powerful. And it's advanced levels of it. Because once you understand the basics of what these fingers do, you're a bad motherfucker. Because you're going to take your meditation to the next level because you understand that. You can sit down in your perineum. But that's only required when you work in the root chakra. You got to sit on it. If you're trying to cleanse out that root chakra, 
you got to sit on that ass. You got to sit on that ass crack now. You feel me? <laughs> you got to sit on that ass crack now. You hear me? But if you not working the root chakra, you can stand up. Just take your socks and your shoes off. But if you're in a position where you, you can't take your socks and your shoes off, yeah, it's rubber down there and cloth. But remember, you a divine being. That's not going to stop what you're sending out. It's not going to stop nothing you're sending out. It's just when you take your rubber off and the cloth off your feet and you plant them into the, the soil of the planet, you connect even more. Okay? Like a supercharge on a car. That's all it is. But being who we are, we can connect regardless. Nothing can stop that. What's most imperative is understanding the mudras and the mantras. Understanding why they move. These are your mudras. They're, all these are considered mudras. 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 The basic ones. Mudras. Basic ones. After them seven, you can create your own because you're basing them off the, the fingers and the elements. But you, they go in order. You got to remember the order. They, it's the order that we did create, that we created in. Water, fire, then came earth or soil, then air, then plasma energy. Plasma energy is the boundary that, could, that allows us the doorway to, to take us from the physical realm into the spiritual realm slash quantum realms slash astral realms. All right. From that point, understanding those basics, then you add in your mantras. Start with I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself while you're in your meditations, I am the most powerful being in the cosmos. I am the most powerful being in the multiverse. I am the multiverse. Everything exists because of me. Nothing exists without me. I give life to the sun. I give life to the oceans. I give life to the planets. Nothing exists without I. You know, you tell yourself that in your meditations to retain your power. You got to gain, get your power, take your power back. You have control over the elements. You have control over nature. You have control over these crackers, man. These oppressors that's trying to take all through meditation, though. But when you don't understand what these fingers represent and how they connect to elements, how each chakra connects to an element as well, you have no fucking clue. This is why they give you seven days in a week. Why not six? Why not five? Why not four? Why not nine? Why seven? Because seven represents that five plus two. Solids, liquids, gases, plasma energy. North, east, south, west. Water, fire, Earth, air. And then you add in magic, plasma energy. So a, a work week is used, it's magic, it's all magic. See what I'm saying? That's why they gave you seven days. Water, fire, earth, air, plasma energy. Water, fire, earth, air, plasma energy. The art was the other two, higher self, lower self. As above, so below. Satanic realms, nether realms, divine cosmic realms. Remember, good, bad, or higher self, lower self. That's what the two alternates represent. This is why they give you two days off on your work week. They make you work five days. That's magic. And they give you two days off. But those two represent higher self, lower self. Duality. What, and what two days will they give you off? Saturday and Sunday. What does Saturday, Saturday come from? Saturn, which represents what? Set, which represents what? Satan. What is Sunday? It's the high vibration. What's the sun? Come from us. So the sun represents what? Like the gods. Right? You got the gods and you got the fallen angels. Saturday represents the fallen angels. Saturn. Even Christmas is called what? Saturnalia. Sunday represents the day of the gods. So Saturday would be lower self. Sunday would be higher self. Now you got Monday through Friday. Monday would be water. Tuesday would be what? Fire. What's Wednesday? Earth. Or hump day. 
right? Where do humps come from? Out the earth. What's another word for humps? Heels, right? Thursday would be air. Air, right? The air that blows us into the weekend. Right? Thursday, everybody a little airheaded because they so airheaded, they waiting to get off work to go get ready for their weekend. Friday, plasma energy. Plasma energy is the one of the, the most powerful energy on the planet in this physical realm. Plasma energy. And how the fuck do you feel on a Friday? Everybody be charged up. Ready to enjoy their weekend, right? Because we all know Friday the most powerful day in a in man-made fake week. That's the most popular day. It's Friday. It's not Saturday or Sunday. And definitely today, Monday to Thursday. It's Friday. But this is why. Because they was working light magic against you. So this is why seven days in a week, that all connects to your phalanges, your meditations, your chakras. It's all interconnected. So to take your power back, you got to understand mudras, mantras. You understand what I'm saying? We are divine beings rising in frequency. So this was a deep lesson I had to give you. So now you take this lesson. Ain't no reason you shouldn't go deep into your meditations. When you inhale on your meditations, you hold it for three seconds. Count because we understand the power of the three, the six, and the nine. You count to three. One, two, three. Let the air, let the let all that prana, all that ashe out nice and slow. Because when you inhale, what's the purpose of inhaling? You pulling in the, the ashe, the life force around you. You hold it. Count to three. Let it out slowly. And it's a lot harder to meditate in a with using a mood than it is just like this. Neutral. When you start using your mood, you're like, ooh, shit. Shit a little more difficult. But it's more than worth it. That's why when you're using it, you feel discipline throughout your body. These mood just challenge you physically too. See? It look, it's, it's easy standing up. Sit down and try to do it with your hold your back straight. If you ain't been doing it for years, you're going to be fucked up. So I advise you to start with your chair, your back against the couch, your back against the wall. That's perfectly fine too. But you want that back straight, the knees folded, and you want that mudra locked in while holding an intent, while saying the mantra. Guess that, that takes discipline of the mind, body, and soul. That's why it's called a mudra because you're not just working the the the, the, the soul, you're working the mind and the body just to hold the goddamn posture. You're working all three. There go that three again. And your mantras is your affirmation. So now you understand why the Buddhist monks, they're going to meditate state for three, four, three, four, five, six hours. Next thing you know, they ass levitating. But it's the mudra. You want to levitate, you could go into that same posture Focus on the, the chakra that deals with air. And use that mudra. And stay in that meditative state three hours. See what happens. But you got to build yourself up to that. You got to build yourself up. You start small. Do a little three-minute meditation with the mudra. Then work your way up the next week to six. Then the next week to nine minutes. Then on up to... 19 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Six or 16 minutes, then 19 minutes. Now 30, 33 minutes. Now 60 minutes. Up and up and up and up. Just like working out at the gym. You ain't gonna go up in that motherfucker just. You know what I'm saying? Let me curl 200 pounds. No, you're gonna start a little fives. Do that for a week. Now that arm, that muscle get used to that. Okay, now I'm at the tens with the curl. Okay, I'm used to that this week. Now next week, let's go up to 15. End of the month, I'm at 20. Next month I'm doing 30. Three months later, you hitting, you curling 50. Up and up and up until you, you know, the body has no limit. You see niggas getting that curling 200 pounds on, the, on one arm. It's just, it's, it's, it's how deep you want to take it. It's the same thing with your meditations. So with magic being a real thing, we remembering now, this is why meditation is so, this is, what a, this is where your power is at. We can't be waiting for nobody to do shit. All the power is in you. Even if you're trying to manifest prosperity. Same thing, prosperity magic. See what I'm saying? You need certain crystals. Get your citrines. You meditate with your citrines. Cleanse your crystals. I'll save that for the lesson coming up on crystals, the introduction of crystals. I'll be talking about every single crystal and what they do. Because, you know, every crystal on the website don't even have a, a description because, you know, 
we didn't have a team. The team began put together. So I, I was just posting all that to the website. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm more focused on the lesson. So I, a lot of crystals, I ain't never put out a full description. So it get deep when y'all find out each crystal and where it come from and its properties and what it really do. That's, that's going to blow your mind. Like, wow. See what I'm saying? But when you're doing prosperity magic, same thing. Meditative state, using certain citrus, crystines, I mean uh, citrines, pyrites, peridot. There's another powerful crystal for, for prosperity magic. And meditating with them crystals. Getting by a body of water. Putting them crystals in the water while seeing your med while affirming and then holding it up in the sun and charging. That's all part of prosperity magic. And the biggest part of prosperity magic is to give. Because the more you do for the planet and the more you do for the universe, the more the universe does for you. Like I said, you want to know why your manifestations ain't working. People be trying to manifest because how can you ask the universe to do something for you, but you're not doing what the universe asking you to do. And the first step to that is walking in your purpose. How the fuck you going to find out your purpose if you don't go within? And how can you properly go within if you don't understand meditation? And how can you properly meditate without understanding the mudras? And how can you properly understand the mudras if you don't understand what the phalanges mean? And how can you understand the phalanges and the mudras if you don't understand the mantras? All that go hand in hand. I am that I am. I am everything and everything is me. We will win this war and thus it shall be. You see? I am everything and everything is me. I am divinely protected. I can never die because I was never born. And thus it shall be. I am everything and everything is me. We are rising in frequency. Not a soul of ours going to get left behind. All of us getting through. And thus it shall be. You feel me? The only motherfuckers getting left behind is these human beings. Their people left them behind. Remember the story left behind? Oh, at the end of days, fucking Jesus going to come out the clouds and save niggas. But he only going to save 144,000 and everybody else is going to leave behind. No, they was talking about their people trying to leave the planet, which some of them did. Most of them got killed trying to leave it, right, and leave their own people behind. So now a lot of these reptilians and Pleiadians and hierarchy human beings, they can't leave the planet. So they hiding out in these little mountain caverns and underground cities and mountain cities they've been building. You see the White House put up barricades around their shit. They know what time it is. You see? And they not, they, they, they left, they, they left them, the poor whites in the middle class where they left their ass out there for us to fuck up. Because they know as we shifted and rising, we going to want to attack anything that's white. Because that's where all our oppression been coming from our whole life. See, that was their chess move. Feel me? Left all, left their ass behind. They left their ass here with the gods, with the lions. You hear me? Left them outside in the cold. They hiding in the mountain cities right now. Scared. Trying to fuck with people, trying to fuck with us through the internet. The system crash. But peace to the gods and gods of the planet Kai. This is a very powerful lecture, a very powerful lecture slash lesson. Hope you've been writing that down, connect all that, meditate on that, and take that and, and go go strong. Go ahead, go head first with your meditations. I love you all deeply. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Alright? And I want to send the deepest of insight to my elders. Normally, I stated it at the beginning, but I wanted to get deep right to it because they kicked us off three times. So I'm sending the deepest of insight to my elders that, that this message reaches you at the deepest of level, of levels. And I appreciate you. I respect you. I have nothing but divine cosmic love for you. I'm sending the deepest of insight to my peers, those in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, that this message reaches your soul, touches the abyss, trickles through every fiber in your being. You know? What I'm telling you is it's nothing but the truth. I'm connecting you back to your power. So take it. Take it. We here now. We back. So now it's time for us to impact our planet like we used to do. You are not powerless at all. And to the blue crystal babies, those 21 and under... I have nothing but divine cosmic love for you. I appreciate you deeply. I respect y'all, even if don't nobody else respect y'all. I don't look down on y'all. I'm looking down on nobody. All I see is us equal, and we looking up. We rising again. Ain't no looking down. Now we rise. One. I leave as I come. See the candle burning? I let it burn out. And thus it shall be.